We're in the Microsoft Windows Surface Tablet, and I'm going to show you one of the Office programs on here. We've got PowerPoint 2013, so let's go ahead and tap that. It takes us to sort of a desktop view. Now, it says it's the preview version, the Windows 2013 preview version, but all that means is that it's the beta version. It's not going to expire when Microsoft comes out with the uh, full version that is no longer in beta, it will automatically download and install. You won't even have to do anything. So if we want to uh, create a PowerPoint, we can go ahead and tap that or we can touch our mouse pad and the cursor automatically appears just like a regular Windows computer. So if we want to go ahead and open that up, we just click on a new blank title just like usual and we can type whatever we want in there. If I right click on the uh, the mouse pad it will give me the option to add a new slide just like a regular one regular computer we can also insert other things here if I right click I can choose all these different options just like any other PowerPoint program change the font if you'd like and uh, now we'll go ahead and insert uh, well we'll just go ahead and choose uh, pictures and if I had any pictures right here, it would it would show those. Or I can go insert a chart. I can insert online pictures. So we'll go ahead and uh, let that go out to the internet. We'll cl uh, clip art, and we'll just uh, type in here any subject that we want. We'll just type in the word office, and see what it comes up with. Hit enter. And it should show us some pictures here any second. There they are. We'll go ahead and click on that. And it's downloading the picture. Depends on how big the picture is, would be uh, how long it will take. Some of these pictures are small, some of them are pretty large. And then after that, there's our picture. From here, we can go ahead and increase the size, just like any other PowerPoint. Now, I'm going to show you what the different menus are so you can have an idea what that looks like. If we click on Home, Here's all the different menus. Again, this is the 2013 preview version, so you may see some new things here. Insert, I showed you earlier. You can also insert an equation if you'd like as well. Design, there's some of the different design options there. Transitions, so you can have the slides fade in and out if you'd like. Animations, you can have the uh, picture do whatever we want, slide in, fade in, fade out, wipe. It actually shows you what it looks like when it does it. Slideshow itself, so if we say from beginning, there's our slideshow, not very exciting. But you can see the transitions that we just did all showed up. We've got uh, review, there's some of the different options. Language, Translate, Spelling, and of course, View. So you can change the view to look slightly different. Here's the reading view. So Hit Escape, takes you right back to where you were. If you click on File, then we see all the, the familiar options here. New, Open, Save, Save As and uh, print. I didn't even uh, add the printer. It just found a printer on my network, added the drivers for me. I didn't do a thing. It just automatically did. I'd never seen that before on any other computer. Uh, if we click on share, then here's some of the different options uh, you can use for the share. Click on export. You can create a video, package presentation for CD for people who don't have PowerPoint but want to see it. Change the file type. You can change it to another type. Uh, or you can click close. Do we want to save it? No, we do not. And now we can click the X at the top if we want. Take us right back to the desktop. If we want to get the, the Metro interface again, we just press on the home button.